Hey guys, welcome to Ecocalypse. We're here to review the incoming banners. We have Light and Gloom with Nightingale and Zawa versus Horus, which has her own banner, Kingship Eternal. So we'll start off with Zawa, then with Nightingale, then end up with Horus for their reviews. Okay, guys, so we are here. Uh, let's check out Zawa in terms of what she has. Let's go straight to her uh, ultimate. So just to just summarize it, she actually gets buffs from her enemies with only a 20% 20, 20 chance to transfer a buff. That's very small. That's one out of five. Could be done. The problem is uh, what if... The, the one that you know that has a successful role doesn't get it so again um, magic damage to the enemy in their corresponding position and surrounding enemy so technically this is around three to four targets with a 20% chance to transfer buff to her so the transfer buff is a bit is so low I think it should have been 40% or at least 50% because you're only targeting 3 or 4. So let's move on to her passive. Her passive is for each additional buff, she gets stronger, her damage is increased. So that's the short um, <laughs> the short straw on her passive. Um, attack is just very basic, dealing 50% damage, which is low. Um, again, for Zawa... She's not my first choice in terms of uh, getting for any banner, but she is actually tied with Nightingale. So Nightingale is, I think, one of the best debuffers that we have. So going to her ultimate, she deals 146 damage to one uh, to four random enemies, but there's a 40% chance to inflict silent. So that's roughly at least if she targets four. At least one of them would be silent. At least. So if you could be lucky, you could get two. So this one, this ultimate is nice to really, really have. I, I, I would actually, you know, if you don't have... Um, what? Who is... If you don't have Niz, she's your best bet for a debuffer. Niz actually does... Um, a similar you know, debuff which is more on uh, uh, being frozen this one is more being silent because uh, it miss it, it makes the enemies lose one round so again um, if you want a substitute to Niz she is actually your best bet it would only depend on the links that you have as of the moment because that would ma matter whether you're gonna use Nightingale or you're gonna use Niz but again Nightingale is a good alternative to Niz. Her passive, however, is um, when her HP falls down below 30, causes all enemies' armor and resistance to go minus 20 for two rounds, which is triggered only if her HP goes down and for her attack is a 95% damage to an enemy with the highest attack. So again, with both Zawa and Nightingale in the banner, it's worth it if you're targeting Nightingale. Okay, not worth it if you're targeting Zawa. But again, the banner is going to be the both of them. So I'm not sure. <laughs> it's not really guaranteed that you're going to get Nightingale here. Um, it's going to be a toss-up between Zawa and Nightingale. But again, if you are after Nightingale, this is the best bet that you will be getting her from. Okay, next is going to be Horus. So for Horus... I don't have Horus. Um, her kit is also based on a debuff. If I'm not mistaken. So it's... Um, no, it's not debuff. It's going to be additional damage of 60% magic damage. Her, her damage enough is actually large at 238 to a single road. That's two enemies. If a target is inflicted with armor break, which is difficult to combo with... But she gives armor break herself because of her basic attack. But the problem is, it's only a 10% 10 10 chance to inflict, arm, inflict armor break on targets for two rounds. So, again, sh you might have difficulty with um, uh, uh, triggering the additional bonus. But, 
uh, the damage itself is good, but there are also other damage dealers that are I'd like you know to use better than Horus. So I don't think her banner is worth getting unless you really need her for her for your team. And she starts out with the battle with an immunity to rage reduction for two rounds. So if you want my opinion, guys, I would actually point you to Nightingale and Zawa's banner. I think I think Zawa is a gamble, but I think she is going to be worth the risk if you go for Nightingale. Nightingale definitely is going to be a very good debuffer for your team. So that is it, guys. Hopefully, I was able to help you pick which banner. This is dropping tomorrow, and this banner, these banners are going to be live up until December 6th. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.